I just added it back there, is to pray always. Always be praying, guys. Not just for your test. Always be praying for different things in life. Pray for one another. Pray for your teachers. Pray for your school. Pray for yourselves. Pray for your family. Pray, pray, pray. Pray when you guys start working. Pray when you drive. Pray all the time. And in fact, something I did, you don't have to do this, but something I did one time is I got this little rock here. This little rock's been in my pocket the whole time, okay? It's a prayer rock. Now, I've lost my prayer rock quite a few times. But when I went on a retreat one time, I found this a little rock. Nothing special. It's kind of a cool rock. But I found, actually, we got this in California. Um, found the rock, and I said, you know what? I'm going to take this rock with me. I'm going to put it in my pocket with my keys, with my phone. And, and it's going to be in the same pocket my phone is. So every time I go to grab my phone or every time I go to grab my keys, I'm going to say a prayer. Because I'm going to touch that rock. I'm going to feel that rock. And so it's something that has helped me. Maybe it'll help you. That's not permission to go out and find rocks and be like, praying for you. That's not what I'm saying to do. Put it in your pocket. Sorry, Jason. Uh, but uh, one, one girl in my youth group, and, and I'm right, right here at the time. One girl in my youth group, she said this. She was older, much more wiser than I am. And, and if there's something, this isn't a takeaway point. But the people that are around you are older, especially your staff, especially your teachers, the volunteers. Guys, they've been through life. They have the experience. They know more than you do. They know more than I do. They have the experience. Those are good resources to go to. One of the older people in my life, I'll never forget, this is how she said she started her day. She woke up in bed every morning, and she would just start talking to God. Then she would go throughout her whole day, normal, go to work, go to school, etc., hang out with friends, come home, and she said every night, and she said she had been doing this since she was like a sophomore, every night she would lay in bed, close her eyes, and say, amen. Her whole day, she tried to live out. It was a big prayer. Like she was just constantly in communion, in communal conversation with the Lord. She started her day, hey God, and at the end of every night, amen. 